Hello, plant friends. So in this episode, we are going plant shopping in Japan. Stay tuned. So I was recently in Japan for vacation and normally when I'm going on vacation, I am just there for the food. <laughs> but since I was there, I figure why not explore that indoor houseplant scene? What is going on in Japan? It seems that towards the end of 2019, um, there were more people who were importing plants from Japan and that was relatively new because when you're thinking about importing exotic and rare plants from Asia, it's usually from Thailand or from Indonesia. You really don't think about Japan. So I felt like this was a new development and my question is, what changed? Were there just tons of available aeroids in Japan and now, you know, people are just sending them out because they're in more demand the rest of the world? Did Japan discover new ways of propagating or tissue culturing these, air air these rare aeroids that made them you know, easier to supply to the rest of the world and that's responsible for the increase in exportation? I'm not quite sure. So I figured let's try to answer some of these questions. In this episode, we are going plant shopping at Tokyo Hans. Tokyo Hans is what I would consider a sort of a, an artsy, crafty store. If you were in Japan and you were looking for souvenirs, Tokyo Hans, good choice. If you were looking for gadgets or gizmos, if you were looking for home decor items, um, everyday items that are more artsy or crafty that would make a, a statement piece or so, I think Tokyo Hans would be a good choice to, to kind of like look for, for items like that. Not your typical Target, not your typical Walmart, and I think that the price point is also higher to reflect the, the more artsy and crafty products. So again, as you're watching this, keep in mind that, again, not Walmart, not Target, definitely not Home Depot or Lowe's or any garden center. All right. So let's just get on with it. Enjoy. Okay, let's go. Let's hunt these these plants down. I think I see a variegated monstera. Oh. What? It is. It is. What? Oh my god, that's that's just nuts. That is nuts. Okay. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to try to figure out the, the confirm the price for this Monstera. Uh, this is a good size, 80 bucks at your <laughs> what is considered like I guess your your craft store, I suppose. Uh, what is this one? Do you know what this one is, Yumi? Yes, that's a type of euphorbia. Euphorbia. And it's pink. Wow. Yeah. That's a nice one. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. I was not I was not expecting that. Look at look at Let me let me see what else is here. Let's see. Um okay, so you have a good selection of air plants. Um, some bark accessories or something. An agonema. We have some cacti here. Uh, I, I assume it's one of these like common anthuriums. Have the variegated rubber tree. Ooh, this is a cool one. Look at this one. 
the the the, the, um, the cactus right in the in there. Yeah, that looks funky. like a paper oh I think it can still like stick you some parts of it but yeah the spines are yeah they're soft be careful I will I will be careful <laughs> okay so here's the um, begonia I forgot this kid's this guy's name oh I see Oh, yeah. But they gotta keep the sheen of it. That's why they have it done that. Oh, wow. You have a good uh, variety. Ooh. 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 So this guy is 25 bucks US. This guy is, um,. Give me what's this one? Uh, yeah, 20, 25 bucks US. And um, does this include does this include tax? This, these prices? No, it's not. It doesn't. Okay, so it's about ten percent, ten percent tax. So you should you can just say fifty five dollars. That that would be probably including the tax. Oh okay. Because oh, the oh, one dollar it's more than hundred yen. Oh okay. So this is about fifty five bucks. But this one, I think this one includes the 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 jar, <laughs> right? This yes, includes the yes, plant and yes, the vase. Yes. Um, yeah, for anyone who's watching, I am not a begonia expert, so please comment below <laughs> to tell me <laughs> if these are, are good deals. Um, once again, we are in Tokyo Hands, uh, which is a, I would say a crafts store. Uh, it's probably a, I would compare it to a, um, like a very upscale or crafty Target or Home Depot or Walmart combination. Well, I don't think. Not, not Home the, Depot, not Home Depot. What? Not even a Target, I don't think. I mean, it's more like a, a Pier 1. Pier 1. I mean, not the Pier 1, but the, like, uh, the similar art Pier 1. And okay, so, so better than Target, better than, yeah, fancier. <laughs> Fancier than Target. Um, I think. Oh, this is a begonia. I mean, I don't know these days. The oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh. Yeah. I assume this and this one is $55. Uh, $55. Um, so the currently the uh, the conversion is about 100 yen is about a dollar. Um, oh, yeah. This one's, Gosh, I can't believe like this is the store which doesn't even have a lot of you know a lot of multiple plants just has this pretty good selection of begonias. Okay. So I'm trying to show you guys the prices here. You mean you don't you don't play with begonias, right? You don't do begonias? I did once like I'll I'll tell you something like later on. Like Oh. In Japan, we have like a begonia farm. A lot of foreigners contact this old guy. That oh. like he, they have uh, many, many oh, okay. like The rest of this side of the shelf is just different types of, of pots. I'm still digging this uh, this pink uh, the the pink cactus back here. Yeah, that's very cool. Green and pink. Oh, I didn't even see this. Uh, this other guy right in the back right here. Ooh. So, so this plant right here is super common in the US. Um, so I guess this thing, the price $28 includes this fancy pot. Uh, yeah. So, so there has to be, I assume there's, there's someone supplying this that is, you know, putting the plants into the pots 
and selling it as a combination of the plant and the pot, you know? Okay, so this Thai constellation here is 80 bucks with one, okay, I'll see if I can do this one, two, is that leaf right there? Three, four, five, six, and a baby one, seven. So I would say this is like a pretty, uh, pretty young, I guess, adolescent or so plant. Ooh, this is one of the, I assume this is one of the syngoniums. I like this one. This is a Syngonium species I do not currently own and I totally forgot the name. But very cool. Look at the, the dark underside. Yeah. Very nice. I like this one a lot. Ooh. This is um 50 bucks. Ooh. 50 bucks. Wow. Well, I think it comes with this like super fancy uh, yeah, I vase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like 50 bucks. Ooh. It's very artsy, yeah. Uh, um yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. That's all I can say about it. Super artsy. Addisonii. Is Addisonii pretty common? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, 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 yeah, I'll say. You can probably get it in. I mean, think about, like, what a pretty nice selection. Yeah, just <laughs> For, for such a, yeah, for such a small, small space. There is literally like only one or two, <laughs> at most three of each plant. I think when you think about the number of plants on display and the variety, you know, I think you can probably infer that people are not rushing in here by the dozens, right, trying to buy plants. So before I went to Japan, I tried to look up plant nurseries around the areas that I was, you know, where I was staying and also around the areas I knew I was going to go just as a part of my vacation. Not many plant options came up. There were not many places that sold plants. There were not many places that grew plants. Um, as as far as I could find, Tokyo Hans, you know, even though not a plant nursery or not a plant focused store, seemed to be the best options that I could find. There were several locations all throughout Tokyo, and I think if you're exploring Tokyo, it's it's it, it's very likely that you would just walk past one or probably several during your trip. Um, the plant nurseries that did come up in my search seemed to be about an hour and over an hour away from the city center. So I was not interested in doing that because I really didn't want to, you know, take that much away from my vacation. Also, if you're living in Tokyo as a local and looking for plants, would you readily travel an hour or so or you know a lot of these places were more than an hour out of your way to look for plants i know that the answer to that for a lot of us is like yes of course you know but you know if you compare that to you know, excuse me if you compare that to what we have in the states where you can look for plants at walmart or you know, Home Depot or Lowe's, um, and as well as local and private plant nurseries, you know, 
there were there are a lot more available options in most places in the U.S. and I suspect in most places um, in Europe and some other places in the world as well. So it was uh, it was a bit difficult to find rare plants and uncommon plants and plant nurseries and plant supply stores in Tokyo. So that about wraps up this episode. This is part of the Japan series and in this series we are going plant shopping at a couple places and we are going to check out one of the most famous plant nurseries in all of Japan as well as one of the most famous or well-known plant people in probably all of the world. So stay tuned. Till next time. Happy planting.